Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about whether or not you should remove your mulch in the fall and just kind of fall mulch maintenance in general. With that being said, if you enjoy the science of gardening or just plant care in general, then be sure to sign up for the newsletter I have officially made the sign up login will be down below in the description and in the comments if you want to sign up it's only i'm aiming for once a month it's probably quite honestly going to be less than once a month but my intent behind it is to give you guys to-do lists of what you should be doing with your house plants indoor gardens or gardens as well as give you discount codes because obviously i'm going to have my 2021 planner coming out very soon that sort of thing so it is for loyal subscribers to get discounts and information i'm also going to be posting um in there latest research whether that be from the soil science field the plant science field you name it just to keep you guys up to date on some wild and crazy things that are happening in the world around us when it comes to plants so i think it's kind of cool you have to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed that video and do not forget to smash that like button for the algorithm because algorithms like thumbs up more than they like subscribers i do not know why they actually enjoy thumbs down too so jokes on you if you thumbs down this so for those of you that do not like long videos should you remove your mulch in the fall and the answer is no maybe it depends but mostly now let's get into why so i've spoken about the whole concept of mulch stealing nitrogen from the soil and we reviewed why this does happen however why it does not matter if it's on the surface of the soil rather than incorporated so if we are leaving that fall mulch on the surface and we are not incorporating it then you are made in the shade. This is the perfect way to do it. Now, if you're choosing to incorporate, keep in mind, wherever there's a junction between soil and mulch, you will have reduced nitrogen levels because the microbes that need to decompose that mulch will actually take the nitrogen reserves from the soil to help fuel the battery of decomposition of the actual mulch particles. So if you incorporate, you can expect lower nitrogen rates. However, if you just top apply, top dress and leave it for the fall, you will be just fine. The benefit to leaving mulch in the fall is that, first of all, it acts as a barrier between the snow and the soil. If you have a microbially active soil or if you are an organic gardener in any capacity, you want to try to insulate that soil as much as possible. So, especially if you have perennials as well, even if you're a conventional perennial person, you wanna insulate the soil as much as possible because the milder the winter, the sooner your spring will bounce back and as well, the less die, die off you will have. So, I mean, there's tons of benefits there, but insulation and reduction of topsoil loss are key. And this is why you would leave mulch in place. So how do you determine whether or not you should top up said mulch in the fall? Well, that's a great question because if you have a degraded mulch on the top of the soil surface and you intend to use that mulch as an insulator or some way of protecting the plants, you need to determine if you actually need to top up or add mulch rather than remove. So the best way to determine this is actually physically looking at it, picking it up in your hands and checking out what the texture or the mushiness of the product is. So if you grab it and a majority of it looks like soil or when you rub the bark pieces, if they fall apart and crumble into soil-like particles, this is a sign it is time to replace. You want to insulate with actual chunks of wood or actual chunks of straw because the air porosity within the chunks of wood or chunks of straw are going to act as an insulator. This is key. So if you have heavily degraded mulch and the intention is to either insulate the soil or to insulate the perennials, then you most definitely want to add new mulch to the top layer of your soil. There's no wrong answer as to how much to put. It is completely based on what method you are going for. So for many, it'll be one to two inches. For the deep mulch guys, they're gonna do three feet. I'm just joking, but you're going to do excessively more. It's all about taste and function and what you are going with. 
Keep in mind, if you do add a top mulch layer, you're going to want to wait until all your weeds are done spreading their seeds. So when you add the top mulch layer after the weeds have done their duty, it will act as more of a buffer to help make sure that the seeds won't get light quickly enough to actually germinate in the spring. So the other factor to look at is actually the idea of pests. So the reasons for why you would not want to add a mulch to the top of a soil is pests. So there are very specific cases and I highly recommend that if you have a bacterial, a fungal, a viral, an insect issue, any of those four, is that you research how they overwinter in your zone. If it says they overwinter in the soil, this is time to actually remove that mulch and expose that soil as much as possible to the cold in hopes that it will act as a natural pesticide to actually kill off the spores, the babies, whatever the case is. So that's when you would actually remove that insulating layer. Now with some fungi such as powdery mildew for example, you actually want to remove that top layer, any leaves, any mulch whatsoever because the fungal spores will actually overwinter inside of that mulch. So if you've had issues with powdery mildew, sclerotinia, fusarium wilt, those things overwinter in the soil and therefore you want to remove dead plant matter, mulch, and even in some cases compost or manure, especially if it has not been fully degraded. And this is because the sun combined with the actual cold is gonna totally sterilize whatever is left over on that soil surface. So keep that in mind, look at what your year before looked like, what you're going to be putting in place in the following years, and then act accordingly. The keys to this entire video were leave it in place pretty much unless there is a major pest issue and you know that pest overwinters in the soil. You can leave it in place, but you can also top up. And in some cases you do want to top up, especially if it looks heavily degraded. And thirdly, no, it's not going to take a ton of nutrients out of your soil if you leave it on over winter. In some cases it actually may do the opposite of it, especially if it comes to nitrogen and leaching, you won't have nearly as much runoff. It also is going to protect your soil surface from things like wind and again, water, which will reduce processes that are known to mankind called levelization and leaching, which ultimately it's the loss of nutrients. It's the loss of plant food. So mulch is going to help to counteract that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you remove your mulch, if you add to your mulch in the fall, or if you just totally ignore your mulch by the time it's fall because you're just done with plants and gardening in general. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.